So another beautiful morning, a little bit more chilly uh, this time around. Um, yeah, after yesterday's disastrous Argentina performance and with two teams qualifying for next round, one eliminated, the picture is getting a little bit clearer and let's see what the uh, impact of these results is on our overall standings of who will win the World Cup and also um, how the projected tournament will go. Just before we have a look, one uh, little addition, as I said already yesterday in the video, I finally found reliable uh, fourth rating that I wanted to add to the video. So of course there are slight changes, but I think they make the whole thing a little bit more accurate even as well. So far I had only three ratings, now I have four in there and I'm very happy with the results. And the other thing is that this uh, additional rating by 538 actually is also updated on a regular basis so it uh, does everything I want to do. I still wish that I could find another uh, way of how things could be incorporated um, with things I mean results um, but you know I don't have the time I actually work enough on sports stuff at work so yeah maybe I'll get the time once I have vacation and for the next tournament I'll surely do so. Well let's have a look how things have been affected. So, with the new rating included, uh, the changes are actually not that many and we will see below. Um, it had impact especially on two teams, uh, which might get straightened out today anyway. So I am actually quite happy how everything turned out. I think from what's worth for me, it is more realistic. So let's get right to it. Um, we have Brazil and Spain still on top, France is surging, Germany is falling. That is uh, due to France winning yesterday, but also Germany got a slight dip now in the ratings uh, due to the new SPI rating. Croatia of course surged, they are qualified for the next round. Uh, the drop off of Argentina is not as big as I actually expected it to be. Um, Mexico surged. They got a boost from the SPI rating. Uh, Switzerland got a little bit uh, clobbered by it. And uh, also um, Colombia is rated ahead of Poland, so they get up and so did Sweden. Uh, again, everything here is not taken to be too serious. Um, I just want to point Serbia is a little bit higher now. Um, also, I thought it was interesting to see that Costa Rica got a little bit of put. The SPI rating is made in North America, so maybe it favors a little bit CONCACAF teams, and that's one reason why I wanted to have it in there as well. Um, now, th among the eliminated teams, we have now Peru. Uh, they are still the best of the eliminated teams, uh, looking at overall uh, standings. They have zero points up and zero two goals. Uh, I think just like Morocco, I just rate Peru higher than Morocco. Personal feeling. Maybe also personal favoritism, as you know. I love Peru a lot for reasons, for many personal reasons. There is actually quite some impact on the most likely outcome of the tournament. Um, we have now, unfortunately, Peru in last place, uh, which means that Australia is. No, nah, Australia is not favorable. Australia has the point. That's why. Sorry, that was a. Mistake I made so Australia has one point. Peru still expect to get more points of, of Australia, but with that one point, Australia goes ahead of Peru. Australia needs a result, meaning a win here, and it needs France to beat Denmark to make it out of um, the group. So, therefore, Denmark's chances are quite large here of qualifying. Then, uh, Group D. Without having have played, Iceland is ahead of Argentina. Um, I could lose now a lot of time on the Argentina disaster. I'm going to put this for another video. Um, Argentina's chance of qualifying took a dip here. And if Iceland makes any result against Nigeria today, Argentina needs help. And that said, if Nigeria wins, Argentina can uh, qualify by beating Nigeria. Maybe Argentina needs really help. So. We see that. Other changes, there are two more. Serbia is now slightly favored over Switzerland. Mexico got stronger and now 
uh, Colombia is slightly favored over Poland. Um, the Serbia Switzerland really will be decided today. I personally would rate Switzerland still a little bit higher than Serbia, but I'm okay with that. And I would rate Colombia higher than Poland. Uh, Colombia had just a horrible first game where they shot themselves in the foot early and then uh, couldn't really do much. I think at full strength, Colombia should be a better team than Poland. Again, I might be proven wrong very, very, very soon. Now, with the two changes, Iceland and um, Serbia, we get, of course, here a new matchup for France, which makes France's road a little bit easier. But again, uh, the no changes here in the quarterfinal, semifinals, and final. And if we go now to the bottom half of the tree, we have now Mexico being very favored over Serbia and therefore Mexico is in the quarterfinal and I think for Mexican fans if that would come true this would be the big win. Uh, they have not been out of the second round since 1986 in their home tournament so this is the big one that they're waiting for and with the way the tournament is going it could well happen. Uh, if they need to win the group and hope that Brazil will win their group. Other than that, that's the one big change here. So we have a new matchup here, we have a new matchup here, and the rest goes as expected. Well, let me know what you thought about these uh, changes, about the ratings, how I project the tournament to go. Do you agree with that? Do you not? And I will have a new update tomorrow where we have even more information on groups uh, D and E. And I will talk to you soon. Enjoyed this video? Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.